live on campus with the message from the university's president. Ashley. Dan and Aja, the president told me that he was never made aware of any hazing going on within this organization until last week when the National Council banned them for 20 years. I asked him what actions happened in that organization to get them banned. He said that's what he's working to figure out. And I'm saying alleged hazing because we are not aware of any hazing incident. Alabama A&M President Dr. Andrew Eugene Jr. told me the university has still not received a response from the National Council of Kappa Kappa Psi on what the fraternity did to get them booted off campus for two decades. We are waiting for a response from the national body. I asked him if he plans to take any extra steps to address hazing on campus. Dr. Eugene told me the system they have to ensure student groups aren't hazing is strong. Until the university gets additional information, uh, we don't think there's a need to do anything beyond that. That system is outlined on A&M's website. It defines hazing as any action that intimidates or causes physical or mental harm. It says all students and organizations are prohibited from hazing, and anyone who does it on or off campus could be suspended or expelled. Students told me they do feel the university does enough to protect students. We have a lot of anti-hazing views like every week. They told me students at any university can always find a way to break the rules, but the university makes it clear it takes hazing seriously. Hazing is everywhere, so. I mean, I don't think they could like just stop it, but yeah, like it's keep good. putting it out there. Through the Freedom of Information Act, we requested detail about Kappa Kappa Psi's investigation into the chapter here. They told us since they are a private organization, they do not have to share those findings with us. Reporting live in Huntsville, Ashley Carter, Way 31 News.